Hi all, I'm Milan Ilic and I'm system engineer at Nordius, mobile game studio based in Belgrade in Serbia. Firstly, I want to ask you, why do you need OpenApple? How do you use it? Just for testing or for both production and testing? How many of you here use OpenApple for testing? Great. Tell me, how do you create test virtual machines? How many of you here lose time creating and terminating virtual machines manually? Using OpenAble web interface. OK. In the very beginning, we had the same challenge. And that's just one of several challenges we had when we started using OpenAble as our private cloud solution. I will give you a context of our other challenges just to quickly introduce you who we are. Nordius is a mobile game studio based in Belgrade in Serbia with 170 people. Our main product is Top 11 Football Manager. It's an online football manager simulation with over 200 million players worldwide. Regarding OpenEbla, currently we are running around 700 virtual machines on 24 hypervisors and around 400 of them are testing ones. So, as you can see, we have used OpenAble for testing a lot. And once our developers figure out that it's easier to test games on cloud than in local, they totally fell in love with OpenAble. They started using it like crazy. They started creating their personal test instances using OpenAble web interface. And after a certain time, some of the developers started writing some custom Python scripts in order to automate virtual machines and service deployment. And after a certain time, every team had their own custom Python script and their own way of automation. So as you can see, it's pretty easy to create a virtual machine. And after a certain time, there are a lot of unused virtual machines around. And as you know, someone has to terminate them periodically. Since the Nordius is a mobile game studio with 50 developers, which means a lot of lost time managing OpenAble resources manually, we do need a fast test environment. Fast virtual machine deployment and automation allow us to destroy everything and deploy it from scratch within a minute. Also, we do need a clean test environment where machines are not reused but deployed from scratch. We struggled to find a simple solution how to avoid manual configuration and subscripts. And instead of different custom Python scripts, we wanted to create a universal way of automation. How many of you here know what's the Ansible? Great. And how many of you here use the Ansible? Great. Uh, for you who don't know, Ansible is an open source automation tool. And we've been using it as our main automation tool for many years. And we automated almost the whole infrastructure with it. So the logical sequence of circumstances led us to automate OpenAble in the same way. So we decided to develop four Ansible models, which will make managing OpenAble resources a breeze and allow us to make the most of our private cloud. Inspired by Google's GCE and Amazon's EC2 models, but also aligned with how OpenAble works, we develop one VM, one service, one image, and one image facts. Now I will show you what you can do with them, what you all can achieve with them. One VM model, with it, you can easily create and manage OpenAble virtual machines. Either deploy one or more instances, terminate them, power off them, reboot them, 
get this instances info, and so on. We covered almost all possible options from OpenAble web interface. So in order to create a virtual machine, everything that should be written is this. Just need to specify template ID, and that's it. As simple as that. There is no scrolling and searching uh, for template in OpenAble web interface. Just specify template ID. But if you want to give machine a name, you can do that as well. You just need to specify some attribute called name and give machine a name. Also, if you want to customize your virtual machine, we provided options for that. You can set custom memory, disk size, vCPUs, and so on. We covered almost all possible options and even more. Unlike the dedicated servers we use before OpenNebula, OpenNebula allows us to have dynamic infrastructure. What does that mean? Dynamic infrastructure means that we can easily scale the number of instances in production, either creating new instances during burst periods or terminating surplus ones. And we wanted to take advantage of this as much as possible. So with one VM module, we provided a special parameter called exact count, which we can use to scale up and down the number of instances based on attributes and or labels criteria. So here is an example how we can enforce that exactly seven instances with attribute application are deployed. So either new ones are deployed or surplus one are destroyed. The next module is one service module, which we can use to manage OpenEvola services. We can either create or delete a service, change role cardinality, get service info, and so on. And here are examples how we can do that. So we can instantiate a new service just specifying template ID, or we can delete a service with it ID. Next model is one image model, which we can use to manage OpenEvola images. We can use it to clone an image, rename an image, enable, disable image, or just delete an image. And here are examples. So we can rename existing image, giving it a new name, or we can disable image with its ID. And Finally, here is a one image facts model, which we can use to gather facts about images. We can gather facts about images using their IDs, or gather facts about uh, images whose name matches regex. So now I will show you some situations and use cases which had the biggest impact on us, which I also feel could happen to you. I prepare more material so we can talk more about other use cases during the Q&A and coffee break. So for top 11 testing, we use top 11 galaxy. Top 11 galaxy is nothing else than our internal name for complete test environment where all top 11 services are packed into a single virtual machine. So in order to create a test environment, our developers need to create a virtual machine, then to provision it using Ansible playbook, then to deploy all top 11 services, and everything is ready for testing in 20 minutes in the best case. We wanted to automate that, so with one VM and one image models, we manage to automate whole test deployment so we can build the whole top 11 test environment within a 19 seconds. I will show you how we did it. In order to skip deploying time, which usually lasts more than 10 minutes, 
Once a day, Team City Job creates a virtual machine from some basic Zen to 7 image. It creates it uh, using one VM model. Then Team City deploys all top 11 services. And finally, powers off and save virtual machine's disk as prepared image, again with one VM model. So for you who don't know, Team City is a continuous integration tool. Uh, so, in the end, it creates prepared image, which we will later use. <coughs> so, as you know, because OpenEvola doesn't allow us to have more images with the same name, firstly, we need to rename the previous used image and give it a new name with some timestamp. Then, we need to power off virtual machine and save its disk as prepared image. And when developer needs a test environment, everything that should be done is to create a virtual machine from template which uses that predefined prepared image. So everything is ready for testing in the 90 seconds. So once virtual machine deployment has finished, the developer who started the build will be notified uh, via Slack. So he can easily plan his next steps without losing time. So Team City firstly deploy a test virtual machine from template called Prepare Galaxy and then notify user via Slack. And developer will get message like this. So, as I said, here comes the next use case, next problem. After a few days, there are a lot of unused virtual machines. And given that there is a, no limit in the number of instances per developer, it's a big problem. And so far, our system engineers had to terminate virtual machines periodically. Because at Nordius, we don't like manual work, we wanted to automate that as well. So because one VM model provides a lot of useful information, such as owner's name, uptime in hours, and other attributes, we managed to create a Team City job, which will once a day delete all seven days old instances. And again, notify the user about that. So, Team City firstly fetch all Galaxy test instances, then filter all ones older than seven days, then terminate them, and notify its owners about that. So, each owner will get a message like this. I hope you can find your use case in this. Uh, the best thing this is that these models became a regular part of Ansible starting with version 2.6. And that's the very first time that Ansible included open Ebola models. So do not hesitate to try them out and tell us what you think your contribution and feedback would be much appreciated. Also, if you're wondering what are the five things we wish we knew before deploying OpenEvil in production, come here at 420 and my colleague Strachinia will tell you. Thank you.